Now I would like to show you another source of very cool maps. In a previous video, uh, we saw together how to find some uh, resources from shapefiles from the web. Sometimes they propose to you to load shapefiles. Okay, but sometimes, let's have a look, they can propose to you web feature service or even web map service or even X, Y, Z, style, etc. etc. What is WMS or WFS? Let's go together because it's quite useful to be able to load this kind of, uh, of maps. Because in as a shape file, it's something that you can take, and then you can you will take uh, raster or vector with objects like polygons, points, or lines. But sometimes on certain websites, uh, they propose to you to be directly connected with their project. Okay, and then it's when you are connected with web map service web map service WMS or sometimes you will be connected with a map with object it's what we call web feature services uh, so let's say that web map service you will have raster and web feature service you will have object like um, point line or polygon with probably attributes so it can be very useful Air, for example, it's a French site where you can load the Natura, 2000, uh, Natura 2000 uh, site. It's a protected area in Europe. And they propose to you uh, several GIS uh, formats, like shape files, what we want for uh, QGIS, but also MapInfo, etc., etc. But they propose to you web services. And they propose to you to load uh, web map service or web feature service of, for example, the protected area. So, for that, you need an, an address, okay, to be connected with their GIS services, okay? So, I will show you other examples, for example, like this one, I found a web map service for uh, the, the ocean but uh, the floor ocean and each time you need to found WMS and you need an address okay here they say for the global map you need this address which is a web map service or etc etc there is here you can find protected area or whatever there is a, there is a lot I will show you just two examples and the most important is how to load it in your project Okay, here for example, I loaded uh, some uh, mean monthly cloud cover of the world from uh, US, uh, from the NASA actually. And you can see here, download. So they loaded a map, a raster map. You can recognize the icon here. Okay, but let's start a new one. Discard a blank. So you need an address. Okay, web map service or world fe or web feature service. Let's say that I want the protected uh, protected uh, area, special protected area of the France. So I need to copy this address and here in my project. Hopefully it will be blank soon. So you see, uh, it's heavy. It's quite heavy. Uh, QGIS. It's a big uh, software. And then, normally, we will create a new layer, which, which, is, which is a web uh, map service layer. Okay? Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh la la. Make a pause. Okay, but you see, uh, it's it's quite long because you need a connection with the web to load the, the maps. Okay, so now it's blank. Let's make let's make a new layer. We will add a layer which is a WMS or WMPS, whatever. 
layer okay so you click and then it will ask you to create a new one I mean no it will no, not ask you but you will create a new one let's say that we want the uh, protected, protected area of France and here you passed the address okay HTTP address the short one okay so you copy it here and that's it okay then you need to connect it for example me I have several so I need to found it uh, it was protected area of France and I connect then he's going to the web and he found all of that and he can subdivide all the layers in different uh, in several layers so if you need just for example uh, let's say I want uh, natural park okay you select them otherwise you select all of them but it will be super heavy in my example so I will just take the na national park okay and then you see it will be an image eh? because it's raster you had it Ta -da! I can see it here it's over there okay close and here we can recognize the shape of France you have the national park let's add a background map hopefully it will be a good projection yes same projection and we can recognize the national park of France so this is a web map service uh, layer, a WMS layer. It's coming from uh, the website over there. Okay. So another example, another blank project. So it was not too heavy. Perfect. So let's say now I want, I try, I hope it will be okay. It's not a big mess. Uh, here, for example, from the NASA Earth data, okay, let's say biosphere, they propose to you uh, amphibian, mammal, richness, Ooh. let's have a look, Ooh, I think it's very heavy, oh, la, la. I think it will be super heavy, you can try, let's try maybe another one, mm. what is that, ah yeah, let's see, the bottom of the ocean. So here they propose to you to access. Uh, you have this address WMS. Okay, so I copy this address WMS address. I return to my project. Again, I create a new layer. Add layer. Add WMS layer. A new one, let's say ocean floor, then the address. Okay, I need to connect to this new one ocean floor. Connect, I ask a connection. Then he found this. Let's say, okay, not all of them, maybe it's super heavy. I'm afraid, so I take just I don't know why. What is that? But let's load this one had close and ta -da! we have a map with a, which is a raster of the floor let's have a look to the if it's super precise and you can see when i zoom in here you have the bar of internet so it's going on the web and also you have a projection so if you need this cool background for your project, you have proper, you can put your uh, proper GPS uh, data and everything. So it's an image, but with geo-referencing. And I think it's quite uh, precise. Huh? But you see, huh? it's long. It's take, it takes time because it's going to, to the web. Et voilà. So means that if I lose my connection, I cannot do that anymore. Cool. So this is a web map uh, WMS layer. Okay. 
voilà. You want another example? No, I think it's okay. So you see, you need to find on the web a proper WMS address URL that you will copy uh, to to have access to this map. Cool. Now I'll show you all the uh, resources.